Pakistan would be well advised to set its house in order instead of lecturing the world community. India has been affected particularly by the menace of cross-border terrorism. It is unfortunate that Pakistan has again, again chosen the path of reckless use or misuse of Sika platform. Pakistan is the global epicenter of terrorism and continues to be the source of terrorist activities, including in India. This is a country where religious and ethnic minorities are systematically persecuted. The frequent instances of attack and vandalism on the places of worship of minority communities. Terrorism remains the biggest challenge and threat to our peace and continues to be the biggest violator of human rights in all its forms. Terrorism, like climate change and pandemic, impacts us all. India follows a zero tolerance approach towards terror and unequivocally condemns terrorism in all its forms and manifestations, including cross-border terrorism, India is also hosting many other organized conferences in this regard for many decades. India has been affected particularly by the menace of cross-border terrorism, sustained through financial, political, and moral support of some states. Excellencies, it is unfortunate that Pakistan has again, again chosen the path of reckless use or misuse of Sika platform to propagate false and malicious propaganda against my country and distract from the theme and focus of today's discussions and cooperation amongst member states. The Union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh have been and will remain an integral part of India. Pakistan has no local standi to comment on India's internal affairs. Pakistan's remarks today constitute gross interference in India's internal affairs sovereignty and territorial integrity, which is inconsistent with the Sika declaration on the principles guiding relations between Sika member states of September 1999. Pakistan is the global epicenter of terrorism and continues to be the source of terrorist activities, including in India. Pakistan continues to make no investment in human development, but provides their resources for creating and sustaining infrastructure of terrorism. Pakistan must immediately seize anti-India cross-border terrorism and shut down its infrastructure of terrorism. It will do well to stop the grave and persistent human rights violations in Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh, refrain from effecting any further material changes in the status of Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. And I'm happy to share that this year, India has allocated 50.2 billion rupees to the Ministry of Minority Affairs for the welfare of the minorities. With its own record of the dismal treatment of minority communities, Pakistan would be well advised to set its house in order instead of lecturing the world community. This is a country where religious and ethnic minorities are systematically persecuted. The frequent instances of attack and vandalism on the places of worship of minority communities in Pakistan and the countless cases of abduction, forced conversion, and marriage of minor girls from minority communities in Pakistan are evidence of vulnerable status of minorities in this country.